Okay, so in this video, we're just going to check out Science Journal. And if you take a look at uh, the introduction to Unit 7, you'll see that down here it says Getting Started with Science Journal. So let me quickly go to this section right here, Explore the World, the Science Journal. And I want to just scroll down a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't really give you a close-up look, but they, they do have a small video right here, real quick. Our I want it to be too loud. World is full of wonder. It's a constant source of thought provoking. And this video just basically tells you how what you can use it for in a classroom and stuff. And so those are just uh, some of the things you can do. But what you really want to do is go to uh, here. Let's go to Science Journal. And you scroll down here. You see where it says Science Journal with Google. So make sure it says Google. I'm going to click on this. And uh, here's the the website. But what you'll want to do is you'll want to um, download the uh, the apps onto your phone, whether you have an iPhone or you have an Android, you can download the apps. And uh, this just gives you a quick overview, right? So it says in, in, inspire and empower with Science Journal. So what you can what you can have students do is they can use their their phones with these apps, the Science Journal apps, and then they can record data. They can be engaged. They can do experiments. They can take the data from that experiment, and the app will turn it into charts, and they can analyze that data. Um, take a look here. It supports multiple platforms. Again, you could use it on Android, iPhones. The experiments are free. There's over 70 hands-on experiments. That's the key number. Um, it says students can measure experiment results, which is important. Remember, you can take photos as well. Um, and mostly the main thing here is to record your observations here with the Science Journal. So I just want to real quickly take a look at uh, the experiment section here just so you get a broad idea. Um, and you can really filter well. Um, you can filter by level take a look equipment author duration features okay um, so there are, look at like you can click these off and decide what type of experiment you would want beginner phone only scroll down here just take a look at some cool things build the tallest tower okay two and a half more than two hours but it looks just it just looks really exciting uh, simulate an earthquake uh, very cool stuff. Um, also, just go to this for teachers page here because it gets a little bit more into detail how this is specifically works for teachers. And uh, uh, right here, hands-on and fun. Okay. And again, it's it is uh, science related, so you can use this to enhance uh, existing lesson plans. Right? You want to excite your students, engage them. Um, external senses. Right? The phone itself, you can record a, a bunch of different. So you can record. Uh, Time, sound, or, or they have uh, so many senses, right? So it says popular senses inc include, check a look at what they have. Light, conductivity, temperature, force, get, like, wow. And lastly, you get to, you know, move learning outside. Get to you get kids out of the classroom. They're really, really appreciated. They always do.